card number 12. Card number 12. John Hall. John Hall. John Hall, CIA contact. Indiana farmer John Hall's 1,800-acre Costa Rican ranch near the Nicaraguan border was to be the launching pad for the CIA-controlled Contra Southern Front. Hall, an old CIA hand, coordinated the efforts of Brigade 2506 members C card 10 and Thomas Posse's soldiers of fortune C card number 8 to help the Costa Rican based Contras the operation was financed by free freeze paid by the Medellin cartel Medellin cocaine cartel for the use of his airship C card number 11 plus $10,000 a month from the National Security Council but John Hall had a problem. Eden Pastora, leader of ARDE, largest of the Southern Contra groups, refused to subordinate himself to the CIA-supported FDN Contra, Contra organization and would not work with René Corva and Felipe Vidal, whom he considered to be terrorists. To Hall, Pastora was still a Santanista. Hall's idea about what to do with opponents of the Reagan administration's Central American policies was most colorfully expressed when he told a reporter that people like Senator Edward Kennedy and John Kerry would, quote, be lined up against the wall and shot tomorrow at sunrise, end quote. Hall met with Amak Galil, 22 uh, days before the attempted assassination of Eaton Pastora at La Pin Pinca, C card number 9. On his ranch, John Hall gave the orders, but he didn't call the shots. He carried out the plans of CIA Costa Rican, Costa Rican Station's chief, Joe Fernandez, and Oliver North, of the National Security Council, C card number 13. John Hall. I remember this guy from that period. He actually made the news. He actually made the news, his planes in the 1980s.